Hey guys, I'm Chris Godber, and today's sax tip, I want to talk to you about how to properly swab your saxophone and extend the pad life in the process, and what we're actually supposed to do with these things. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, so first of all, we all know uh, that when we're playing we get excessive amounts of water in the horn, um, especially if you're playing an indoor gig. And let's talk about what that is um, before we talk about the proper way to uh, clean your horn after the gig. So a lot of people think it's, it's mostly spit, but it's really not. There's a little bit of that. Um, your saliva is going to mostly be in your mouthpiece and some in your neck. What generally gets in the horn though is water. It's just water. Um, it's condensation. You know, you're blowing hot air into a relatively cold instrument, uh, especially if you're playing in an air-conditioned building. So uh, you're playing, you're blowing your 98.6 degree uh, body temperature uh, breath through the saxophone. And if you're in an air-conditioned building, of course, uh, when you're not playing the horn, uh, even when you are, your horn is constantly trying to kind of be that room temperature. Uh, so if you're in an air-conditioned building. And it's kind of like leaving uh, the doors open in your house in the summer with the air going. You're going to have condensation ripping or uh, dripping from uh, the vents. And so that's what's happening in here is the moisture, uh, the condensation buildup in the horn. Because you'll remember if you're playing outdoor gigs, uh, maybe even remember back to like marching band or something, summer months when it's warm out, there's little to no water uh, in your horn after you get done playing and leaking out in your side keys uh, because. Uh, one, there's not as much condensation factor, hot air, and it's hot surrounding air, so it's not creating that. Um, but also, any of that is, is evaporating kind of in real time, so it's not as much of an issue with outdoor gigs when it's hot as it is indoor gigs. So, of course you get it coming out on your side keys. Um, also, uh, the, the, like, the low E flat is, is a problematic thing. You don't want any water on your pads any more than it uh, has to be because that's what's going to uh, hurt your pad life. And uh, if you want to uh, replace your pads more often and get overhauls and you got the money and time to do so, more power to you. But I work hard for my money, so I want my, uh, my pads to last as long as possible. All right, so we're familiar with the swabs. Most horns come with these or you buy them. There's lots of different kinds. This is a P. Moriot horn. This one came with it and, and it actually works really good. You want to be careful with some of them that are too fluffy because they can actually get stuck in your horn. You don't want that. I had a cannonball uh, dragon swab that, uh, that did that and that was, uh, <laughs> that was scary. So anyway, just be careful with that. So we know how they work. Put it in, so I'm pull it through, and then it's going to be wet. Now what? Well, you need to do it again because that didn't get it off. You played a good gig, uh, you're going to have a lot of water in there. So the important step that most people forget a sax tech taught me this a long time ago, and it's very important, is just to dry it off. Have a, a, a towel you bring with you, not your sweat towel from your gig, because that's already going to be saturated. All right, so you just want to pull it through and, uh, and dry it off. And now it's about where it was, uh, maybe slightly damp, but not super wet, because most of that water is on the outside of it anyway. Wash, rinse, repeat. Do it again. Keep doing it. Do it about two to three times, all right? And then, once you do that, if you have one of these, if you don't, that's okay, you can keep using that. Again, just keep drying it off in between, uh, in between swipes there. These things are pad savers. I already know a lot of you are like, ugh, and if you're a sax tech, most sax techs hate these. Um, but it's not the pad saver's fault, it's the user. As with most things, user error. Uh, the thing is with these, they're called pad savers, and if they're used correctly, they will help save your pads. The problem is, people just shove these in their horn. A lot of people um, use them in place of these, or in lieu of those, um, and really they should be used in conjunction. They just put these in their horn, leave them in there, and that's that. Well, that's not what you're supposed to do with it. Yes, it does go in your horn, but not without first drying it out properly. So, the correct way to use one of these, yeah, you're gonna put it in your horn, but you want to twist it and kind of uh, dry up and down the keys, uh, the, the pads that are, are, are open, close those, the ones that are closed, open those. You especially some of the problem child keys, this low E flat, your, your G sharp key that tends to want to stick. Um, these, your palm keys, up and down, twist, and then the same thing that you did with the other swab, you're going to want to dry it off. Dry it off really well, 
Um, and then do it again, two or three more times, okay? Again, keep doing this, and this will help get any of that water in between your key cups uh, and the crevices there that tries to hide. Just press the keys up and down, all right? That will help a lot, again, dry off some of these pesky keys, that little E flat, because water just trails down the body tube, but it sits sometimes in there on that lower part of that, that pad. <sighs> Blow through there. Uh, if you want to wedge something in there to kind of air it out, again, G sharp key, <sighs> these palm keys. <sighs> you know, usually if you blow through there and hold them open, you'll see kind of water sling out <sighs> because they definitely like to hide in there. So that is important to dry out your, uh, your pads and uh, after a gig, get, get the, uh, the water off of them. Again, dry this really well. It's okay if it's dry after your horn is dry and the pads are dry to put it in there. Uh, when you're going home, where else are you going to store it unless you have something else to put that in uh, after a gig. But the important thing is to let your horn dry out. After I do all that, I, I usually play soprano alto and tenor in my festival gigs and my private events. I'm at least uh, tenor and soprano, so I've at least got two horns to do this with uh, after I play. So I'll set this on the stand or in the case uh, without anything in it and let it finish air drying any little pieces that I couldn't get to while I'm putting my other horn away or sound equipment if I've got sound uh, or you go to your autograph table and sign your autographs and the babies and whatever you got to do um, after the show and then come back and get your horn by then everything should be dry and good and then you can put this in your horn if you have one or your end plug or what have you put it back in your case and, and you're good to go you can do the same thing uh, with your neck, they make these neck swabs. You can get these at your music store or on Amazon. I'll put some links in the description just for some examples. Do the same thing with your neck, and you can even do it with the mouthpiece on there. Read a ligature off, of course, but pull that through, dry your, your neck and your mouthpiece at the same time. Again, it's not going to dry it all the first time. You're going to need to run it back through. So dry it on a towel, clean, dry towel, and, uh, and do that two or three times. And that will help a lot uh, with, with uh, your pads, of course. Not so much a pad issue on the neck, but still you want to dry and clean that off. I mean, that can get really icky over time and start growing some, some gnarly stuff. Uh, so just take care of your stuff. It'll take care of you and last a lot longer. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. If so please click like and subscribe, comment. Um, I'd love to hear some things that maybe you do. Uh, my, my sax tech even goes a step further and uh, takes a small blow dryer uh, into the horn on the cool setting, not the warm setting, to dislodge any of the, that uh, epoxy on the, the pads, but hitting the cool button and he just goes down the bell and, and there to, to help dry out anything like that. I don't carry one of those with me as I'm a touring musician, but, uh, but uh, if you can do it, then, then by all means. There's also some cool products out there like the horn blower, I think it's called, uh, that kind of does the same thing. But any, all these things uh, definitely contribute and uh, if you use them correctly, they can definitely help uh, lengthen your pad life. Uh, my Soprano um, I've, I've, that I currently have, I've had the longest, and I've had that for 15 years, and it still has the same pads on it, and I play it all the time. So just taking care of your instrument uh, will go a long way. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video.